I wasn't planning on making a video today and I'm trying to figure out some camera issues that I'm sure you guys have noticed uh, in the past few videos. I've been trying to figure out my new setup. Uh, but this is a subject that has, become, has gotten a lot of hubbub over the past week or so. And these kinds of videos seem to do better than the videos I spend all of my time actually working on, interestingly enough, because YouTube's weird like that. So I wanted to talk about the Adobe Premiere Linux request and my thoughts on it as someone who's advocated for that for years now and has recently had a little bit of notoriety with regards to video editing on Linux for interesting reasons. So there's been requests for years for Premiere to and generally Adobe software to be released on Linux. In fact, it was one of the main, the Adobe suite on the whole and codec support and yada yada is one of the main holdups for me actually switching to Linux as, a, as my primary desktop operating system, along with some other things and support. But it's one of the major holdups, at least on the software front in terms of programs. And I've always dug through the forums and tried to look for responses and made suggestions and stuff. And at some point on the new Adobe user voice, which is their new feature request thread, uh, someone has made a post and then someone shared it out and shared it to Jason Evangelo or Kill Your FM, who were, is a tech writer at Forbes and has been doing a lot of Linux stuff lately. And he signal boosted it and a few other people shared it out. And it got like 3K votes in one day and got automatically filtered by their spam filter, which has happened to other requests in the past. This isn't the first time, but of course people wanted to jump on the conspiracy theory that they were shutting it down because they didn't want to talk about Linux or whatever. But it got restored, and at the time of recording, it's got at like 6,500 votes, which is insane. By far the most voted thing on the forum, but that's because of all the people who don't usually participate that were involved. Uh, but then we got a response from Patrick Palmer, the principal product manager at Adobe. That's a lot of P's. And he gave what I felt to be a very well-rounded and grounded-to-earth kind of response to all of this, which was basically he explained why it got put in the spam filter and he had to figure out how to fish it back out and then kind of gave a little bit of reality in terms of how they feel about the feedback and the fact that a bunch of votes coming in from an online share doesn't guarantee that they're going to focus on it right now. And, you know, his experience working at other companies supporting Linux and the reality of the situation with porting. I thought it was a pretty well-rounded response and kind of highlighted some of the issues that I actually have with the request to port to Linux. And I kind of wanted to talk about my feelings on it since I've gained, like I said, notoriety for talking about Linux or video editing on Linux and yada yada. I, I hate that this becomes such a polarizing topic. I really do. And obviously... I usually complain about this in a situation where I haven't contributed, but obviously my most recent famous quote-unquote, it's not really, but, you know, popular video about the subject could have been polarizing. But the fact that people get so extreme about it and it becomes this dramatic thing because this level of software development and support isn't something that can happen overnight. And the, the interesting part to me here is the response. It was welcoming. It was, it was providing a sense of realism and, like, groundedness, but it was welcoming. It was saying, hey, we hear you, we're listening, we're going to reassess and, you know, there's no guarantee that they're actually doing that, but they're saying that they are going to reassess their market share analysis and figure out if this is the right move for them. In previous years, keep in mind that this isn't the first time this request has been made or become popular or anything. I have spent years researching this and have dug through previous years and years of forum posts in the, because this, this new user voice feature request thing is actually new within the past year or two for Adobe. They switched away from previous forums and things like that. And there were dozens of requests in the forums where I felt that the responses from either Adobe staff or the forum moderators, I don't remember exactly which, were almost borderline hostile. They were saying, hey, please stop requesting this. We really don't want to hear it. We're not going to support it. Basically, the answer was no way in hell is the feeling I got from it. So to see them at least take a more positive PR approach to this, to me, is a great step. But the issue here, as highlighted by uh, Patrick Patrick. What is his last name? Too many P's. P -p 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 Patrick Palmer is that it's not as simple as just porting Premiere Pro. And I think a lot of the Linux people who don't have a whole lot of experience with it think that's the solution. Like, just port Premiere, man. Make it compatible in Wine and it's fine. But most of the selling point and the workflow usability of Premiere is the Adobe Dynamic Leak ecosystem. And I talked about this in a big podcast with my buddy Dylan. We talked about, you know, choosing NLE platforms and things like that. And the dynamic link ecosystem working between the entire Adobe suite is what the workflow that professional people who would be switching to Linux because of this 
would need. And that's a much, much bigger endeavor that even if they decided we're doing it today, we would never even see the start of tangible results for years to come. That's necessary. And so just porting, I, I do not want them. I desperately do not want them to do a half-assed port of just Premiere GIMPed without any of the dynamic link features or other integrations that are kind of required to really get the most out of it on Linux. Because then the Linux people are going to be disappointed, the people who want to switch are going to be disappointed and unable to switch because of that limitation, and it's just not going to go well for anyone. I do not want them to do this. Instead, I want them to take the time, if their market share analysis tells them not that it's not right or whatever, because their current user base obviously are mostly on Mac or, Win uh, Mac or Windows, but if they take into consideration that so many people might consider switching with that in mind, because it's one of the hurdles, it is not the last hurdle, it's one of the hurdles keeping video editors from coming over. I want them to take their sweet time with it, and I want them to do it right, not to rush it out to appease an angry internet mob that mostly isn't going to pay for it or switch anyway because it's not open source. I'm kind of in their camp of they shouldn't just rush it out. I don't want that to happen. I want them to really start basically reworking how they co-develop their suites on different operating systems and integrate Linux into the production cycle alongside Mac and Windows so that the full suite can come out and be included in your Creative Cloud membership, including Adobe Typekit and all the stock stuff. Like All of it needs to be seamlessly integrated for the best results for everyone. And I really don't want to see a bunch of internet people demanding them to support it on Linux and them to try to appease those people and release something that doesn't really help anyone. Like, I honestly believe that I don't think that they should port to Linux in the first place whatsoever if they're not going to do it right. It would not do anyone any good, and it would just further this weird feud between, like, normal professional NLE editors versus people who use open source software. I just, I don't think it would end well unless they're going to take a time to treat it as an equal platform as Mac and Windows and adjust their development cycles appropriately. But that's me. I do want to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below, so do let me know. And this is a pseudo response to a video that Garner Linux Gamer put up. I will have a link to it in the video description down below. While you're down there, hit the like button, subscribe for more tech education and weird video editing and Linux e-rants, and I'll see you in the next one.